What is up guys and today I'm bringing you some Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, this right here is a bro chem with my friend Prodigy. Uh, I'm using the gold AK-12 suppressor extender mags. Uh, I couldn't honestly tell you what my perk setup is because it's, it changes so frequently as of late. But um, a couple things I want to talk about in this video. Um, I don't really make videos a whole lot anymore, you guys know that. Um, just because I don't really play Call of Duty a whole lot anymore. Not because I dislike the game. I actually like Ghost. It's actually a pretty fun game. But uh, I have other things in life. I th feel like, you know, I pretty much talked about in my last video. I, um, I'm starting to grow up and video games isn't pretty much what I uh, take as priority like I did when I was younger in the past couple of years. Um, you know, I have other things like school, MMA, work. But other than that, yeah, um, I still fit in or try to fit in some time for video games on the side. Um, so, yeah. Um... What do, I, what do I need to talk about? Um, switch my gamer tag from Agonizing X back to Chris Stewart 26. Um, that's I don't know. I just made my game yeah my gamer tag Agonizing like a a year ago just because I I don't know got bored one day thought of a cool name, but <clears throat> I don't know. I've had the name the gamer tag Chris Stewart 26 since I started playing Call of Duty back in like MW2. So you know I thought hey why not get some nostalgia going. Plus, it kind of matches my YouTube channel name, so might as well just get called. Everyone called me Chris anyways, so yeah, basically that's it um, for that reason. Um, I should probably turn off notifications. I've just noticed since I've been watching this game that nothing but notifications keep popping up for like people playing Call of Duty and stuff. But um, yeah, this right here is not a fast-paced uh, KEM at all. Um, I came back on, and uh, I was realizing that you know rushing really wasn't working the greatest, and... Um, I kind of remembered why I started my YouTube channel in the first place and how I've kind of shied away from it so much over time. And um, I started my YouTube channel um, back in Black Ops 1 um, pretty much to show you guys um, <clears throat> how I played Call of Duty and how I played it effectively and pretty much how to play defensively and still win because that's pretty much um, what my channel was based around was kind of like a win Wings of Redemption kind of thing um, where I've kind of played campy. So I'm kind of, I think I might get back into it. Sure, at times it's not as fun. I don't mean sit in a corner and, and get triple capped the whole game. I mean like you know, um, you know you're winning the game, but at the same time you're not rushing around like an idiot, which sometimes works. But uh, that's not really my play style. I don't have the connection for that, nor do I have the hand-eye coordination. Considering I don't play as much as I used to, I used to be able to get away with it back in Black Ops 2 when I played a lot. But um, yeah, I don't really have the aim like I used to. Um, so yeah, um, what I kind of want to base this channel around is being pretty much an OG pub star camper kind of thing. And uh, that's pretty much what I started my channel around. Um, I was kind of getting, like I said, to playing video games too much and stuff like that. So uh, I was getting into competitive, but I realized that I was going nowhere in life. Sure, competitive and playing eights is fun from time to time, don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, I'm never going anywhere with competitive Call of Duty. Chances are in the next couple of years I won't even play Call of Duty. But uh, as of right now, um, you know, who knows, Call of Duty might not even be on YouTube by then. No one might be doing it. Maybe I'll stop by then as well. But um, <clears throat> basically, uh, I realized that competitive is not my thing. I was an okay competitive player, but I'd rather just play pubs and have fun. And um, during Black Ops 2, smacking tryhards and, like, you know, playing all the tryhard kids and who could beat who in multi-team was, like, the biggest thing. But now I really don't care if I play tryhards or not. Um, it's fun from time to time, but I'd rather just play, uh, play whoever. If they're good, they're good. If they're bad, they're bad. I'll stay and play against them. I just want to play. I want to have fun. So I realized that's pretty much what I, you know, gotten, fell in love with Call of Duty with in the first part. Um, I've always gone for stats, so, you know, I guess you could say I'm still trying my heart out. Um, so yeah, I'm still going for stats, uh, in this game, especially win-loss, because my win-loss is getting close to a 90, um. Luckily, I don't get dashed on anymore. Um, most of my losses are dashes that I have. I have one legit loss in Ghost. But, um, yeah, you don't really meet any too big of tryhards in this game because there's no, like, certain playlists where everyone kind of goes to meet up. It's not really like that in this Call of Duty. Um, you know, multi-team, you'd pretty much run into a lot of tryhards or, like, a lot of bad kids either or. And, um, yeah, you don't really run into, like, you know, other YouTubers or people that have Twitter that, you know, try and you know, all that stuff and anti, so, yeah, basically, I just play Call of Duty to play Call of Duty now, still play most of the time in a full party, um, uh, this game I'm not, uh, this game I'm playing with, like I said, my friend Prodigy, um, uh, Arrestify, which is darts, and, um, who else am I playing with, some other dude, I don't know who the other guy is, not my friend, but, um, 
<laughs> I think his name's Factor. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much what I've been doing as of late. And like I said, I kind of want to make this channel back into what uh, it started as, which is like an OG camper slash pub star person, which, uh, you know, I was known for in the older Call of Duties, um, especially Modern Warfare 3 when my channel kind of like blew up. Um, I was known for really camping and having a high KD. At one point, it was like a 5. It dropped at the end because I stopped, you know, I just started decking around using weird guns, trying to get gold guns, but that's besides the point. Um, I was known in Modern Warfare 3 for having a, uh, you know, 5 KD. Um, I uploaded a stats video and it got me a lot of subs. That's pretty much where I got like half of my, three quarters of my subs. I got like 500 subs in MW3. Um, that was pretty much my prime. Uh, I uploaded good gameplays because you didn't have to rush like crazy in that game to get good gameplays. Um... I don't know, Ghost isn't really a gameplay game for the most part, at least I don't think so. Maybe I just can't get the high, high scores. Um, but yeah, my stats are the highest they've ever been in any Call of Duty in this game, but it's really not hard, just because, uh, I don't know, it's just really not that hard in this game to hold a high KD. I've got like a 5 right now, it's like a 5.6, five, five, 5 something like that. But um, yeah, basically videos you guys can expect from me. Um, I still want to do a live comp session for this game. Uh, but I'm gonna start getting back into my nostalgia, nostalgia videos, so like, you know, not necessarily tips and tricks, but how I play certain maps, and, you know, showing me, show you guys how I play, not just picking out the, you know, the best games where I get running around, but showing you the games where I sit back and camp and get high scores, and pretty much how I play on the regular. I'm not really someone that goes out there and, you know, cherry picks games where I go, you know, negative most of the games, and I finally get one game where I rush around like an idiot and drop a 100 plus. That's not really the, you know, I'm not really a gameplay channel per se. Like, I guess you could say I am, but I'm not really going for some high score, and I don't only play for gameplays. I play, I play to win, and, uh, you know, if I get a gameplay, then I get a gameplay. I never actually go for just a gameplay. But, um, <clears throat> in the next couple seconds here, I pick up my cam. I'm not going to show this whole video. Uh, believe it or not, there's a kid on the other team that had a 3KD and I KEM'd him. I don't think he stayed. Um, I think his name was something Gunplays, Mr. Gunplays or something like that. It might have been him. Uh, I think he had a 3.5KD and uh, he got he got cammed by me and Prodigy. Um, so it was a bro cam. But uh, once I get my cam, I barely get it. I think I die right as soon as I get it, um, which is lucky. Um, but uh, I'm just going to cut out the rest of this game because we pretty much had to fight with these guys with the flags a bit. I will show you guys my final score. Um... I'm kind of ignoring the OBJ right now. It's kind of not what I do, but, uh, yeah. So, right here, uh, Prodigy calls his chem in. You know, we start taking the lead. We get a flag, and uh, that pretty much wraps up this game because I do go for the win over KD. I don't really care about my KD half as much as I do my win-loss. And uh, I call in my chem right after, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's wrapping this video up. I'll show you guys my final score at the end if you guys are still sticking around. If you feel free, like you guys want to maybe thumbs up the video, dislike the video, just leave some feedback in general um, to let me know what you guys thought of the video. Other than that, guys, hope you guys had a great holiday. Um, well, holidays. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. And, um, yeah, pretty much take care, guys. Peace.